In parts one and two of this series, we set up serial communications and learned how to send commands between the PC GUI and an Arduino board. We programmed the GUI to move a servo to a specific angle and to turn an LED on and off. That all worked pretty well, but now I would like to find a way to program the GUI to control the brightness of an LED using a scroll bar. Can we do it? We'll find out on today's episode of... LEDs will respond to an analog output from the Arduino, changing their brightness proportionately to the output duty cycle. The Arduino, being an 8-bit microprocessor, will output an analog value by varying the duty cycle between 0, which is off, and 255, which is full brightness. So that means we need to send commands from the C-sharp to the Arduino board that have values ranging from 0 to 255. Since we already know how to send analog data to the Arduino, we will concentrate on using a new controller too to make the LEDs work. Ultimately, we want to do red, green, and blue LEDs, so we will have three sets of controls to program. They should all have similar code varying only in minor ways. So let's do one of the LEDs completely at first to prove and refine our control concept then we can easily program the other two colors. Taking up the C-sharp program that we left in part two, we will add new controls for the LEDs. A perfect new control for us to use is the trackbar. The trackbar will continuously scroll through a range of values as we click and drag the handle. So we can easily set the LED intensity anywhere we want. Grab a trackbar from the toolbox, trackbar right there, and drop it on the form. Resize it a little bit to make it more visible. Now, change its name to Red Val. The name Red Val. And then we need to change the limits of the control. We'll set the maximum to 255, leave the minimum at zero, and then we'll move down to the bottom here and set the tick frequency, which is how often little tick marks appear in the control, to 10. That will space them out a little bit more and make them a little more visible. The trackbar sends out changes to its value whenever you scroll it. This creates a scroll event that we can use to send the data. But we have to be careful here since the trackbar can generate new data faster than the Arduino can process it, we must add a button to actually send the data to the Arduino. So put a new button on the form next to the trackbar. There's a button and we'll just put the button there, move it up kind of close. And then we're going to change its name to send red val, send red val. Now that we've changed the name to send red val, let's go down and change the text property so that the button will tell us to send red value. Okay, so that's all of the properties that we need to do or change on the button. Let's now go ahead and program the events for these two controls. So over on the form, double click the trackbar and Visual Studio will create a scroll event. What we want to do is to capture the value of the trackbar and store it in a command string for the button to send when clicked. But first, we will need to create a string variable to hold the red data. Since we will use the red data in two functions, we will create the variable at the class level so that it is visible to all functions. 
So we'll go to the top of the class, right after where the class is uh, created. Then we will add a private string variable called red. And that is the variable to string to hold the red uh, LED intensity. Okay, so now we've got the string created. We're ready to handle the scroll event. So moving down to the scroll event, the first thing just to keep ourselves informed as to what's going on, let's create a comment that says set RGB LED red value. And then we will take the red string that we just created and set it equal to a capital R, which is the command character or the character code that we will use to signify to the Arduino we want to change the red LED. And then we will concatenate to that using the plus sign the red value. So we're going to use the red val scroll event or the red val tack trackbar dot value to put into that string. So we've saved that now. The red, var red variable will be updated as the trackbar is scrolled with the final value remaining when the scrolling stops. So we can now program the button to actually send the commands to the Arduino. So going back to the form, double click on the button so that we now have the click event. And this time, we will add some code to check to see if the value is missing. So now in this send uh, red val click, then we are going to put an if statement to check. It'll be the first thing. So if, now we're going to use a string class function called is null or empty and we're going to give it the argument of red so we're going to check that so if that is red I'll come over here and hit the enter key uh, we'll need to put scrolls all right not scrolls we'll need to put braces and in between the braces we're just going to say red is equal to a string that has a capital R and a zero in it. So if it is null or empty, what we want to do is to send a zero to just turn the red LED off. Otherwise, if it is OK, then we just send to the serial port one, uh, we'll use the write command to send the red string as a command to the Arduino board. So that's it for the C-sharp program. Now we'll need to modify the Arduino program. On my board, I have connected three LEDs through 220 ohm resistors to channels 3, 5, and 6 for red, green, and blue, respectively. We will handle the red LED first, as it is the one that we programmed in C Sharp. First, we'll need to set channel 3 as an output in the setup function. So moving up to the setup function, let's go behind the other pin mode and we'll just put an enter and then pin mode and we will set channel 3 as an output. Okay that now sets it up for the red LED. Now we will also create 
or need to create an integer variable to hold the value sent from the PC. So at the top here, let's just create another integer value called LEDVAL, and that will hold the LED intensity value. And now we're ready to handle and decode the data intended for the red LED. All we need to do is create another case in the switch statement for this device. So moving down behind the last break command in the switch, let's hit an enter key, and let's set a case for a capital letter R colon, and that is set the red LED intensity and then let's take the string x and put the substring value in it from data, data dot substring. And we're going to start it at position 1, just like we did before, to get the rest of the string after the letter r and put that into the string x. The problem, of course, being that it is a string, and in order to control the LED, we need an integer. So we need to convert that to an integer. So let's take LED val that we created, the integer variable we created a little while ago, and in it we will put x dot two int two int the uh, function, and what that will do is that will take the string that's in x, convert it to an integer value, and put it in LED val. Now we're ready to just write that data to the serial port, analog, or not serial port, but to the port itself, the port 3, analog write to port 3, LED val. And that should illuminate the LED, the red LED, for us, and we're done. Now we just need to add a break statement so that we don't continue processing through the switch event or the switch function, and then we're done. Now that's it for the Arduino. Let's compile it and see if we've done everything correct. We have a function. It's analog write with an E. Make that correction, and now we're ready to go. So all we need to do now is to run the program by going back to the Visual Studio. I've downloaded the program to the Arduino, and it is running. So returning to Visual Studio, all we should have to do is click the green arrow next to the word Start to run the program. Bringing over, here is the program that is running on Visual Studio right now. It should be connected to the Arduino, so let's check it out. If I try and turn on the LED, well, that still works. Turn pin 13 off. That still works too. Let's go ahead and send an angle of zero to the motor and see what it does. Nothing. Well, it doesn't mean anything. Let's set it to 90 degrees. And it turns. So it's now at a 90 degree angle. So now for the acid test. Let's set the LED, the red LED, at about half and turn it on. And it does indeed illuminate. Let's take it down and dim it down a little bit. And it got dimmer. And then let's take it and set it off. And it is all the way off. And now we're done with the first LED. In a subsequent video, we will program the other two LEDs. But first, we should learn how to send data from the Arduino to the PC. That we will do in the next video. 
So until then, thanks for watching.